Okay, so today we're going to fix that nice spot on the ceiling. Uh, so earlier this summer, I actually had to leak from my air conditioner. My air conditioner is uh, right there. And it basically leaked because uh, the drain got clogged up onto the ceiling. So I'm going to show you how to fix that and make it look like you've never seen it was there. So what you're going to need to use today for the tools, we're basically going to need kills, upshot, which is a lot easier, or just a regular can of kills. Now I'm using kills because it seems to blend in really well with the ceiling. Now I think you could use uh, some spray ceiling paint and it'll work just as good. I've also got some uh, miscellaneous newspaper here and some uh, tape. So really all you're going to need to do is uh, to start off, we're going to need to put our newspaper all the way around here because we don't want any of this white paint to get on to the wall. So I'm going to start off by putting the newspaper up and tape it in place. I'm getting the newspaper because it's really easy just to sit it up against the, the top edge right here because it's already got a nice even uh, crease on the edge. So we're going to start by doing that and then we're going to I'm going to show you how to do the, the painting of the ceiling. Now this paint is not the same color as my ceiling, but I'm going to show you that as long as it's close, it will blend in and you won't ever know that it was there. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of these uh, advertisements in these newspapers and you can see how that edge fits nice and flush up against there. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to tape it up and I'm going to keep going all the way around. Uh, it'd be nice if I would have started this first. Two hours later. Okay, so you can see what I did. I basically just put the newspaper all the way up to the very top, all the way around, and then I taped it. So basically I don't have any overspray. Now normally what you want to do is you want to take this blue tape and you want to go up against the top all the way around. But in this case, I really thought that this would work just as good. So uh, instead of doing the blue tape all the way around the top and then putting newspaper from there down, or if you don't have newspaper, you can also use regular sheets of paper. I just figured I would do this. So now it's time for us to spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the spray out. Now make sure you uh, shake your can up really good. And you probably wanna read the instructions on the back. I think it says that you need to, uh, you know, shake the can for at least a minute before you get started and then once you're done uh, of course you take the top off and get to spraying so i've already done all that sp all the shaking up i'm just going to go ahead and start spraying it all right so i think i'm ready to go basically on this we're just going to push down on the nozzle here and it's going to spray up now i don't want to be really close to it like this i want to be back a little bit my goal is to try to feather back and forth and just put a little bit on at a time to where it looks like it blends in. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Here we go. And I don't know if you could tell by the camera, but I'm probably, I don't know, 12 inches, maybe a foot away from the ceiling as I'm doing the spraying. And I'm just spraying back and forth. And you can see it's starting to disappear. So you just want to keep doing that and just keep blending it in. And just go whatever way you think you need to go to make it blend in and look right. And really that's it you can see it's really easy to do depending on how big the area is you might actually want to have some sort of drop cloth on the ground in case you have carpet or wood floor or tile but you can see it's gone and this hall light is or this hallway is normally pretty uh, dim I actually have a really big light hooked up right now so I can see so you can see what the bright light focused on it 
you could even you can't even really tell that it was there. So when I take that off, I'm definitely not gonna be able to see it in this hall light or in this hallway with the really dim hall light. After you've sprayed and uh, for me, it's only been probably about 60 seconds since I sprayed it. You can actually start taking this down. It'll probably get you a little bit uh, wet with paint. Or you could wait about 5-10 minutes and then peel it off, take it down, throw it away. Okay, so here's the finished product. I took all the uh, pieces off. And uh, you might be able to see just a hint of it, but I think it's still wet. So I'm really looking forward to uh, finish drying and it'll be gone completely. If for some reason you still see a little bit of an edge, like I can see a little bit right there, I can always come back, touch it up, and just come out further with the paint and go back and forth and really just try to blend it in. I think for me, once this dries completely, this has really only been five minutes, it will completely dry and you won't ever know that that's there. And if Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks.